YouTube. Welcome back to another Slice Melon video. My name is Kieran, also known as Sorinky, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do an awesome rim light effect for your Roblox GFX. So, if you want to know what a rim light effect is, it's basically a light on your character like this, and I'm going to be showing you how to apply a rim light to your GFX. So, I'm going to be doing it on this thumbnail, and this thumbnail is made by SoftGB, so make sure to check him out. And without further ado, let's get started. So first, we're gonna go up to our Magic Wand tool and change this to our Quick Selection tool. After, you might wanna turn this up, and we are just gonna select our character with this tool. It might go a bit out, that's okay, but if it goes too far out, we can just, you know, press Control Z and do that again. Right, now that we've selected our character, let's hit Control J, as you can see, we have our duplicate of our character. Next, let's go right click, blending options, and we are going to add an inner glow. Turn this up, turn the size up a bit as well, and we're just going to change this to whatever colour we want. I want the rim light to be blue. And you know, you can change the choke. I'm just going to have it pretty low. Then you can change this, change the range if you want to. Change this if you want to as well. I'm going to set this to overlay, and after I've done that, I'm just going to hit right click on this layer and rasterize the layer style. Next, let's just get a soft eraser and just erase any parts where you don't want the rim light to be. So just maybe where there might be inconsistencies, maybe where it's went out of the lines a bit. And if you want, you can duplicate it and you get an even stronger rim light effect. You can even um, add another one. You can add like a, another inner glow. Change the color if you want. Or you can do an inner shadow that gives off a similar effect. So like this. I like to do a combination of the two just to make the rim light have a bit more of a glow. And then again, let's just repeat the process of erasing where we don't want it. And yeah, so this is it without the rim light and this is it with the rim light. I'm just going to get rid of it here. And I'm just going to make a clipping mask, get this blue colour. and. I'm going to get my soft round brush and I'm just going to draw on the rim light here because, you know, I'm kind of missing some. Actually, oh, that's just, <laughs> let me move my character back into position. There we go. 